Yeah. It's a term, apprenticeship, because it's training. And young people, um, and it makes no difference when they come out of uh, full-time education, 16, 18, 23, whatever it is, they're still going to need to be trained in whatever it is that they're going to choose uh, to do. And it's equally valid for a rural, commu rural community as it is for, a, for a, uh, a, an urbanised uh, community or, or an industrial community. So I think that, that so long as, as Ladder for Shropshire is tailored to local needs and local business requirements, uh, you're going to have a win-win situation for both the businesses and the young people. If you don't have the right training, then the wrong people will get the wrong jobs. You've got to, get, you've got to try and fit people to jobs. And so it's all about that whole process. And that can be done at university, that can be done at college, it can be done at school, but it can also be done by a ladder programme like this, and it can also be done by Chamber of Commerce. There are a whole raft of, of organisations and people who are there to help it's a matter of bringing them all together and that's what Ladder does. It's all about knowledge and that's where um, Ladder is so clever because it is delivered by um, a newspaper. It's a very, very vital symbiotic relationship between young people. But the key to this is the recognition that it makes no difference when you come out of full-time education that there is going to be a training package. Yeah. When, I, when I left school I joined the Navy and I was then in an apprenticeship program, for want of a better word, for the, for the first three years of, 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 of my naval career, learning how to fly and learning how to learn. So it was, it was, it's exactly the same. All right? And then you get a certificate of competency and then for some reason the other night you're supposed to know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the point, that is the point at which you, you cease to be under training and you become a professional member of an organization and that's a big step uh, in many people's lives and it was in mine it meant that I got out to get out of the out of the left hand seat and got into the right hand seat yeah which means you're in charge oops <laughs> but the point is that that's the same that's the same thing for, for, for young people they've got to recognize that there comes a point when they once they've got their training that they're going to be fully competent people and members of a team and it's beholden on all of us to be able to bring that team together, whether they're under training or not.